Hi, I'm Marky. And I'm Freddy. And today we searched various retailers as well as the PlayStation Store to find you the best deals this week. To kick things off, we have Marvel's Avengers at GameStop down to $24.99. It has reached this price point in the past, but I'm only recommending it now because a lot of the updates that are going to be coming up to this game are going to be free to download, including a Black Panther and a new, I believe, time-skipping one involving Hawkeye. And there's going to be a lot more content in the future planned, so I'd recommend getting it at this price now so you can spend some time, get familiar with the game, get your heroes where they want them to be, and be ready for future updates. Definitely, and I recommend buying it on PS4 so you can get the Spider-Man expansion that you won't be able to get on Xbox. Definitely. It's uh, the best way to grab a hold of it now on PlayStation at $24.99, so definitely check it out. Resident Evil 2 is on sale at Best Buy for $17.99. This is my first game in the series. I'm not usually into horror games, but this game had the enough level of suspense, great story, and amazing graphics to keep me played to the end. This game uh, is unique because it gives you a limited amount of bullets to keep you on your toes. Sometimes the game uh, will give you the chance to run away and hide, but in other times you have no choice but to fire at the zombies. Overall, it's a great game and I highly recommend it at this price. Moving on to a lighter title, we have Immortals Phoenix Rising down to $29.99 at Best Buy. Uh, Ubisoft games do tend to go on sale pretty quickly. Uh, it has hit this sale price before, but it still doesn't uh, dissuade the fact that this is a game that's worth getting, especially at essentially half price at $29.99. It's a game that's very obviously inspired by Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but also mixes in a lot of gameplay elements from the Assassin's Creed series. Um, all wrapped up in an aesthetic of Greek gods, even with DLC expansions that you guys can get uh, that explore other pantheons of gods as well, but mostly Greek. Um, it's as well surprisingly humor driven. There's a lot of meta humor and a lot of other jokes that can set up that can really make the exploration of the world a lot more enjoyable. Puzzles, pretty interactive combat, a gear-driven system, it's all there for a big, expansive experience. So I would definitely recommend picking this one up for your collection. Moving to the sales on PlayStation Store, we picked for this week Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition at $14.99, which is the third and likely the final part of the Lara's origin story. The Definitive Edition comes with all 7 DLCs that include 7 side missions or challenges, extra skins and weapons. So it's definitely great value for the price. This game is very similar to Uncharted where you go on an adventure, you will have to solve puzzles, other times you will have to use your stealth skills, and other times you have no choice but to shoot and fight the enemies. The demo is available to try, to try uh, before you purchase it. And uh, I would definitely buy the previous game in the series first to understand the story and what's happening, or at least start from the second game in the series, which is The Rise of the Tomb Raider. Since the first game was very short and you can get away without playing that part. So a good entry would be the second one. If you played it already, definitely recommend playing the third one at this price. The PlayStation Store deals continue with Far Cry New Dawn at $11.99, $12. Um, one warning in regards to the game though, this story for Far Cry New Dawn does take place after the ending of Far Cry 5. It will inherently spoil Far Cry 5's story. And while Far Cry 5 itself is not on sale, I will stress though, if you don't necessarily care about Far Cry 5's story, or if you want to just kind of experience it as its own thing, it's perfectly fine. New Dawn is perfectly playable, isolated away from 5. It's just that it will inherently spoil a major part of the ending and if you don't care about the major part and just want the intricacies of the story you can still enjoy each of them separately far cry's gameplay is speaks for itself um it's got an open world style I, except the difference for far cry new dawn is that it's post-apocalyptic um and you get to experiment with a lot of wackier weapons it's got a, a pretty elaborate crafting system some vehicle combat as well you get a lot of uh a lot of intricacies to explore when it comes to that uh, that Far Cry hasn't been able to do before. So uh, it's a strong first person shooter game, a big open world to explore. And for 12 bucks, you can't really go wrong. So definitely check it out. Marky, I was wondering if Far Cry New Dawn also has a co-op mode similar to Far Cry 5. 
It does. Uh, they still kept it all intact. You're still able to just invite a friend and enjoy it. The best thing about it is that with the crafting system, the new thing that's in this game, um, you, having a buddy in order to pool resources and make kind of the crafting process a lot faster is actually preferable in a lot of ways. So it's also recommended to give it a shot with a friend. Finally, for the PlayStation Store, we have Witcher 3 available at $7.99. I will stress though, um, this is not the game of the year edition, not the complete edition rather. It is the standard Witcher 3, but uh, you can't go wrong with $7.99 for one of the biggest games of the generation or last generation rather. It's a fully immersive open world RPG that can be tackled any way you like. A hundred side quests, it feels like. A bunch of main quests, a bunch of DLC expansions to explore as well. There's a lot of time to sink into this game and a fully realized and well-told world for you to get wrapped up in. Can't recommend it enough. At eight bucks, one of the best deals around right now. So definitely check it out. Marky, I know there is the for Witcher 3 they are making new updates for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. If somebody bought the game now on PlayStation 4, what would be the situation for somebody moving on to the next generation? It's a good question. Um, the best way actually to take advantage of this deal, one of the reasons, is that the PlayStation 5 upgrade will be completely free for anybody that owns Witcher 3 in any capacity. So if you're going to get a hold of it, I'd recommend getting it now for $8 you get a PS5 down the line, or if you already have one, once the next generation upgrade becomes available, you just download it for free. You get access to the boosted frame rate, a lot of visual ambient effects, faster load times, which is a must for a game like this. And you get all of that at no cost. So definitely get a hold of it while it's really cheap so you can get access to a completely different version of the game. These were the deals we picked for this week. Did you play any of the games we mentioned or are you going to pick up any of these games? Please comment below if you enjoy the video. Please press like and hit the bell button for video notification. It will help the, our channel to grow. Thank you for watching and we'll see you all next week.